terms of acute presentations and hospital stays. There's no doubt, is there? Guys, ten past four, five past four, just finished work and I'm going to head to the driving range, hit some balls, which is not like me. I, uh, <laughs> I don't really practice much golf at all, which is slightly embarrassing considering the job I do, but I, I don't really find time for it. I finish work, got family, go home, spend some time with them. It's, uh, it's hard to squeeze everything in. At this time of year though, there is some opportunity. So I think on Monday, Dan and I, well, the next couple of days anyway, Dan and I are gonna head somewhere, get a six hole vlog on the go, do some tips and tricks and things like that on the course. So I need to go and hit some balls before that and get into golf mode. That's the plan. So we're heading to the driving range just now. There's something I've been working on or thinking about working on. I tried a couple of shots last week. I did videos on the grip. You probably saw I did three videos on, check them out on the channel. Did beginner's grip, intermediate grip and elite player grip. And when I was coming back off the golf course there, I played the ninth hole at Peebles. And I tried something on the tee and it was, it was impressive. It really improved my ball striking. Um, so I'm going to go and give this a try. I'll explain what it is when I'm at the range. And it was like a little eureka moment. It's, it's also incorporated in a video I did in the past, um, but it just came back to me and I thought, let's give this a try. And it really worked. So I'm going to go to the range, I'm going to give this a bash, see how I get on, and we'll do some footage and I'll discuss it as we're going. Driving range is closed. See, so in cheap drills, number one for the Scottish borders and North Northumberland. Raging. Absolutely raging. Never mind, we'll do it tomorrow. Right. Quick jog. Then off to the range to sort out this Eureka moment. Okay, we're off to the driving range. Why are we going to the driving range, little man? Because we're going to hit some good golf balls and we're going to rip it. Brilliant. Try and get it in the nets and the hounds and the flags. So we're going to try and rip it. Is Daddy going to do a video? You bet he is. <laughs> well, why is he going to do a video? Because he is famous. <laughs> <laughs> so like, let's do it. Boom. Okay, so at last we've got to the driving range and it's open. Result. So, this eureka moment that I've had, let's discuss this for a wee second. So, I was at Peebles Golf Club and I had hit a few balls down the ninth fairway and realised that some of a video I had done in the past, it came back to me that I was trying to discuss lag with somebody in a lesson. Let's just come to the chase here. And I've never really felt like, well, I've felt lag, but I've never felt the contradiction of two forces in the golf swing. So one part of the body going one way, another part of the body going the other way. So it came to me in this video. So I hit a few balls. I aimed way left. So let's say I normally aim here. I put my feet out miles to the left. Okay, and what this has done, my last video, this encouraged me to get a shallower angle of attack to stop people coming down so steep on the ball. So this time, 
by aiming left like this, my feelings are there's two forces in the golf swing that work in different, that pull in different directions. So you, you look at McElroy, for example, McElroy's hips try and stay forward and his shoulders turn more. So there's this resistance, if you like. So if this is his hips and this is his shoulders, his hips turn, his shoulders turn, but his hips stay. And then there's a coil and recoil. So there's two forces pulling in two directions, which gives him the power. I've never really felt that in the swing until I aim left with my feet. So if I aim left with my feet, it keeps the body or my hips to the left, yet my shoulders turn back, so that way I get a little bit of coil. So my body, <coughs> my feet aim left, I take the club back, and these two forces going in different directions, so my hips trying to stay towards the ball and my feet aiming left, it's hard for me to turn my shoulders, but then when I get to the top, they want to come firing straight back down, so there's a lot of power in there. So I go from here, absolutely pure it. And the reason, for, I've never had that before, I've never had that contradiction of the two forces, so it works well for me. Um, it was a little bit of a eureka moment. Okay, I'm aiming too far left, and people will ask me on the golf course why am I aiming so far left. Okay, we know the answer to that. <coughs> it's pretty straightforward to me. Um, but try that, I feel as well a little bit more sort of Zach Johnson at impact. So it's two straight arms and straight for longer and not released as early. Um, but it is the driving of the two forces is incredible. So my body wants to go to target, but my shoulders want to go away from target on the backswing. I've just never hit it as well as that before. My left heel stays on the ground, which is good. I like that as well. Um, left heel's planted to the ground because of this. I tend to, when I am in square, my left heel comes a little bit off the ground. Um, this time, it stays on the ground, so there's a lot more rotation going through the shot. I get my weight through onto the left side a lot better. And to be honest with you, aiming left in the golf course, yeah, it looks a little bit silly, people are going to mention it, but Lee Trevino aims left. He aimed left all his life, hit draw. Bubba Watson, he aims right and hits draw. Let's imagine Bubba Watson's right-handed for just now. And he aims this way. He can still hit draw from this position. I'll hit draw from here. There you go. Ball flight right to left. Yes, little man. You go to the toilet. You know where to go. Okay, that's fine. Good lad. It's my son from the other bay. He needs to go to the toilet. I know where you are. When you go. So try this, I've maybe not explained that all that well. So there's two forces, right shoulder, right hip want to turn away from the ball. I'm aiming left to stop that from turning away as much. So there's a lot of coil, I can feel it in my back. And then as I come through, the bottom half's through already. So there, that's, that's the resistance. So the bottom half's already through. My left hand, the left foot stays more on the ground and I get through, I get onto my right toe very well. I've never really felt that. As I say, that contradiction before, everything's gone back, everyone's gone through, I do come over the top a little bit when I aim square, I come back, then I come through because I kind of push over the top. And if you think about, in this position, I pull more, there's much more a pulling sensation going on through impact. I'm getting myself to here and the body wants to pull to the left, and then it wants to pull back itself, and the golf swing is a pulling motion. If I push in the golf, imagine you're driving a car, you've got a caravan in the back of your car and you drive and you pull the caravan along so your car is getting pulled, the caravan is getting pulled by the car, it goes in a straight line because the two centre of gravity is line up. Okay? If you reversed your car with the caravan, the caravan would go all over the place because it's so hard to keep the centre of gravity in line because it's a pushing motion. So if I get to the top of my swing and I push push, push. I'm never going to get all this in line. I'm never going to get this in line with the ball. But it's going to be very hard to. So if I can start off in this position and get the feeling of that pulling motion, because my hips are already left, it's pulling down, there's much more chance of the ball, centre of gravity of the club and the ball, meeting each other the same every time. Okay, so it's a pulling motion that we're after. 
which keeps those centre of gravities together. So the sweet spot and ball are going to make contact much more often. It's going to be, it's no brainer. It's physics. Caravan pulled along, it's going to happen. Caravan pushed, it's going to move out of line. So guys, I'm going to do one more. I do love the fact that my left heel stays on the ground. I do love that. Back, a lot of resistance, easy to get through, all in line. Try it. Yes. Go on, you go. Oh, he's trying this. Do another one. Rip it. Yeah. Brilliant. Go. Hi, my name is Lloyd Johnson. I'm going to make my feet into position today by hitting the ball golf ball. And I'm just about to go and do it today. And look at the driver range is coming. That's why I'm here to do it. There we go, oh, video done at last. Um, turn this music off. Video done at last, and I'm not sure I covered it all that well. The range was very, very busy, so I got done what I could do. You enjoy that, Lloyd? Yeah. Yeah, good. Um, the key thing there was to take into fact that when you aim left like that, or as far left like that with your feet, the bottom half of your body is already open, or through impact already, so that's what causes the resistance. That is also what creates the pulling motion, so it's a pull through impact. As I mentioned, the caravan thing, if I'm pulling the caravan in the back of this car, it's going to go in a straight line, because the centre of gravity of the caravan is getting pulled by the centre of gravity of the car, so it has to go in a straight line. Perfect. Goes round corners and it gets back in the straight line. If I reverse, the caravan is going to go all over the place, because I cannot keep the centre of gravity in line. So if I set myself at address with the body to the left, it's much easier because it's the body is wanting to pull the bottom half is wanting to pull the top half back through impact. Oh, it's hot. The bottom half wants to pull the top half of the body back through impact. So it's going to be a pulling motion. So the centre of gravity of the club will get in line with the ball, or should get in line with the ball, and the, the forces that my body is pulling the club will all get back into line through impact, much more consistently. Lloyd, what do you think? Yeah. Yeah? You enjoyed yourself? Yeah. Wait, Daddy, if you're going to reverse with the Caroline on your back of the car, then you can go around them part, because that's how I'll do it. That's another way you can do it. 